Chris, the dating doc. And look, I got to go in because men out there, especially young men, the way you are defining tens, nines and tens is out of this world. It's like y'all are talking about arithmetic and I'm already on calculus, right? And, and y'all, are, y'all are like doing these big topics on how to do adding, subtraction, and dividing multiplication. And I'm already on some finite mathematics stuff. What do I mean by this? Nines and tens, or those that you think are nines and tens, are not really nines and tens. You are chasing these vapid, addicted to validation women that spend more time on building their IG profile Follow me, hit me up on DM for surprise, surprise me. Here's my cash app. Those are the kind of woman y'all are going for. That's who you chase. That's the narrative. Those are your nines and tens. Do you really, come on, come on now, wake up, young man. Do you really envision that type of woman being one that you can lock down or that can even listen to you? That can have topics that don't deal with Gucci, Prada, Michael Kors and filters or bad baby, Cardi B, whoever they worship, the Kardashians. We have got to, okay, we already went through the whole red pill rage and whatever you guys are into nowadays. We need to revolutionize. We need to start focusing on women that have their act together. Those are the real nines and tens. Some of you play more on Instagram than you do LinkedIn. Some of you play more on Instagram than you do hollering at a woman at a coffee shop. Some of you chasing these Instagram models instead of working on yourself so you can attract the real nines and tens that you can share a household with. And guess what? Their box might even be better than these so-called nines and tens. I'm telling you this because you have to wake up. You're looking for wisdom, right? You're, you're looking you're looking to elevate. And every single person, every content created in the manosphere talks about level up, work on your grind so you can attract the right kind of woman. The right kind of woman are not these Instagram <clears throat> garden, uh, you know, accessories. But somehow you think that that's the way to do it. Okay, so let me give you some, some traits or some things to look out for so you can know the difference between them. One of these Instagram model nines and tens and a true nine and ten. First off, if she's not heavy on social media, more than likely you're dealing with a woman that's a little bit more grown compared to her peers. If she's not having to take a photo of every single food, if, if her stories on IG doesn't look like little uh, stitches, you know what I'm talking about, right? Little little lines everywhere because she got 20 stories in one day. You might be dealing with somebody who doesn't need that validation. So that's the first thing is social media use. Meanwhile, you date these Instagram nines and tens. What do you think they're doing when you're trying to have a conversation? What do you think they're doing when you're trying to vibe and trying to watch the sunset? They're taking a picture of it. They're snapping this. They're snapping that. They're on the phone. They're texting their friends. They're checking their Snapchat. They're checking their text messages. They're checking their email. They're checking their Facebook. They're checking 20 things because they are glued to the phone because that's how you met them was the fact that they're glued on their phone trying to work the perfect angle so they can take the right photo. So social media use. Humility. If a woman can truly, truly laugh at herself... Okay, I'm not talking one of these cutesy like, oh my gosh, you're so right. No, I'm talking like can truly, truly laugh at herself. More than likely a cousin to that, a cousin trait is she can take self-accountability. Do you think women that are addicted to validation, that are addicted to the attention, that feel they are entitled to any kind of man or, or the bag, do you really think those kind of women are going to want to take self-accountability. Come on now. So look for humility. Humility doesn't mean a woman's weak. I know some sassy, humble woman. They can laugh. They can be goofballs. And at the same time, they laughing with you and at you, and it makes for a more magical experience. That's what gets the real dopamine going. 
which leads to that feeling called appreciated. And if you're looking for love, more likely can lead to love. All right. You only have one legacy. Keep this in mind. You only have one life to live. If your brain continues down the habit of, I got to chase these women on DMs, realize that you're not the only one. The ones that are humble, the ones that are not messing around on social media too much, your message more than likely means something. If it's more than hit me up and hey, and high sexy. So with that said, if you're going to track the true nines and tens, you yourself need to be confident and humble. You yourself can't be glued to the phone all the time. You yourself have more to talk about than red pill and video games. You got to really be about it. My experience, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to go from my experience. I get the most turned on by a woman that can pass for nine and 10 in looks, but don't have to push it. They're not taking photos of everything. Also on top of that, they have an interesting hobby they like to share. I had one that liked ukulele. I had one that she liked to cook sushi. She liked to go to cooking classes locally and learn sushi. She didn't do it for the photos. She didn't do it for the clout. She just enjoyed that. Add another one that's in the coffee, like I'm in a coffee. Another one was into Marvel. And it could actually tell me about the stories and I can match it up with her. True stories, true character. Now, it takes a lot of self-discipline. You have to be a little bit stoic. Okay? When one of these women, one of these, these uh, social media addict, addicted uh, IG model types tries to hit you up and then she responds, you feel more validated. But guess what? That's part of the game. And that's not to say, that's not to say, okay, let me get it right. That's not to say that some of these nines and 10 models don't possess humility and self-accountability and things like that. But I'm talking about percentage-wise, more than likely they are not because their whole mindset is glued to the phone. So more than likely their relationship is closer to the phone than it is trying to actually pair bond with someone. Their dopamine solution is the phone instead of you and trying to find out about your day, okay? So please realize, okay, this is a quick drop, but I want you to start looking at your dating potentials differently. And you need to start looking at your mindset differently because you only have one life to live, you only have one legacy. You can keep chasing the wrong kind of woman or you can start guiding yourself towards women that actually have a character. May not be like the most fashionable and, you know, squatting, doing videos, workout videos, and all that stuff. But they got a little bit more to them. And on top of that, sex is better when you're appreciated. This is Chris the Dating Doc signing out. Peace.